So good morning guys, uh, another beautiful day. So back out with the RX-10 Mark IV, a um, bit of slow motion to start off with. So ever wonder what a butterfly looks like flying or taking off? Quite clumsy by the looks of it. So I've shot at 500 frames per second, around about 600mm. Uh, F5.6 just to give it a little bit of depth. Um, this one here, I was just basically, there was butterflies everywhere but trying to get one in shot. So basically I just waited for one to come into shot. Um, I was just very lucky that this one just sort of stayed in focus for most of it. Um, but uh, really interesting to see how they actually fly. And they're flying pretty quick in the real term. Uh, duck here having a bit of a wash, which uh, always looks quite cool. And uh, plenty of sunshine, so um, the lighting was quite nice, even though I'm actually shooting sort of into the sun a little bit. But um, as you can see there, it worked quite well. Uh, duck taking off. This one was really tame, so I can actually get really close to him. That's actually a 24 mil, so I'm actually really close to him. Um, him just taking off there, which worked quite nicely. And then um, this one here, I almost missed it. I was just sort of looking at the fish down there, but came into shot. I know it's out of focus, so it's not ideal, but um, you can see a big fish there. It freaks the hell out of it, <laughs> um, and just comes into land. But uh, as you can see, it's not it's not in focus. Unfortunately, once you um you block your shot, it's kind of that's it. Um, you don't have the control. Uh, plane in slow motion here. I'm just basically flying straight overhead. So um, you can see the uh, the vapor trails there, which looks quite cool and perfectly blue sky. So it was it just quite nice, really. The white and the blue. So that worked quite well. Uh, that's at 250 frames a second. That one. Uh, and then on to some photos. So 24 mil wide angle, and uh, Shooting f6.3, I think, on this one, uh, but nice and sharp, and plenty of depth there, so that worked quite nicely. This shot's looking down the stairs on one of the towers, and that's just some sunlight coming up, and just thought it actually looked really nice. So just a quick shot there. That was shot at one twentieth of a second handheld, because um, where I was actually quite dark, but obviously I wanted the light to come through. This shot here I really like because you've got the the shadows of the of the branches and the leaves and everything on the ground, um, sort of in between the grass and everything. It just looked kind of cool. Um, just quite a lot going on in a, in a simple photo. Um, half a mile away in a field, I could see when I stood up on one of the towers, uh, a tractor there and some machinery, obviously doing I think it's silage bales possibly. Um, so that was quite interesting. Just could see it in the distance. Uh, another sort of silhouette-y stroke shadowy type shot here. Um, just really like the way the the shadow cast onto the water of the, that branch there. It worked really well. It's just a shame the water was green looking today. Um, path to nowhere. This it was just a, another shot here, um, and the path sort of disappears off into the sort of wooded wooded area there, and uh, that worked quite nicely. All these shots are not edited; they're literally just straight out of the camera. And this shot here is 600 mil. I'm about 10 feet away. Um, as you can see there, the stonework is actually quite quite well out of focus, um, but the uh, flowers there are actually relatively close to it. But um, just shows you the uh, the depth does drop off quite quick, especially at f4. Uh, this is a three, yeah, three photo uh, merge um, inside the castle. There looked quite cool, I thought. Um, and then a duck. It was just quacking. I was thinking, where is this duck? And it was hidden in there. Not really sure why. Um, but uh, yeah, there's a branch there just floating, so it's just stood on it. Um, it was making a bit of noise. Uh, this shot here is looking straight up, um, sort of the entrance into the castle there. So as you can see there, this is one photo um, in portrait. I don't shoot portrait mode that often um, in that sort of uh, way, more more landscape. I mean, I suppose because of YouTube now, it, you want to fill the whole screen. Uh, this shot here, f2.4, 24mm, uh, focused on the uh, thistle there, which worked quite nicely. Castle well out of uh, focus there. No fringing or anything, uh, straight out of camera. Really impressed with how that lens works. Uh, this shot through the trees on tiny spot focus. I thought the smallest point you can get um, straight onto the uh, the castle door there, uh, and, uh, and then a moor hen appeared. Uh, it was obviously after some food because there were people feeding the ducks, um, some seeds or something, um, and uh, that worked quite nicely there. Just a simple shot. You can see his feet in the water there. This is the same duck, the one that took off uh, slow motion. Really quite. Like, I want some food. Just give me food. Um, this is 24 mil uh, wide angle, and uh, it just locked on. Uh, autofocus um, wide AFC, which I shoot in most of the time, unless I want some particular you know spots, you know points in focus. Uh, castle here, just a wide angle shot, f6.3. Um, 
people say the f 5.6 is the sharpest uh, aperture but f 6.3 doesn't seem to make that much difference i've not noticed anything uh this shot here same same situation but just stood back a bit as you can see a little bit of cloud but not a lot uh this is a step of some sort um I can't remember what it's actually for. I'm guessing for horses, possibly. It's been there a long time. Um, obviously, the tower in there, the moat, it was just a shot from there. And the last photo was uh, a sort of silhouette uh, with a back of backlighting and some sunshine coming through onto the leaves of the oak tree there, uh, which worked quite well, I thought. And the cloud in the distance there behind, uh, and uh, it just worked well. So uh, it was just a quick, quick video from today's wonder. Um, so please subscribe, please click the notification bell, and obviously if you want to answer, ask some questions, I'll happily answer if I can. Um, obviously RX10 Mark IV, A7R3, etc, etc. So, chat soon.